Hi, this is Jim Nelson of Photography Travel Tours, and today I'm going to show you a technique for correcting uh, vertical lines, straightening vertical lines, and uh, mainly in Photoshop. Well, I have this image that I took in southern France in Provence. Uh, kind of a grab shot. I wasn't really taking my time, but I, uh, it was kind of a snapshot almost, and uh, my camera back was not straight, so I was pointing down, so these lines are um, not vertical. Over here, you can see this, the mailbox, everything's kind of uh, kind of uh, haphazard. Uh, I don't know how straight they were in real life, but I think they were a little straighter than that. Uh, this is actually going to show some of the limitations uh, of correcting lines in Lightroom. That way, that's why I will be taking the image into Photoshop here shortly. Uh, in the lens correction panel, under basic, we have the manual, or the enable profile corrections tab over here. I'm going to click that. You can see that it did straighten some things out a little bit, but it also did some cropping over in here, so I'm not sure if I'm going to keep that on, on or not. Um, it, what it mainly did was correct this uh, horizontal line here from distortion. I'll keep that on. I'll keep that on. And then I'm going to go over to the manual. And Typically, if it's not, uh, things aren't too out of whack, I can use the uh, vertical um, function here to straighten things out and you can see that it actually is doing a fairly good job. Uh, I'm going to lose some of the image here. Um, this part is going to have to be cropped out but um, I am going to do that a little bit there and now I'm going to open up in Photoshop here. So I'll go up to the top in Lightroom and go File, Edit in Photoshop. The image is going to open up here. Get rid of some of this extra stuff that we uh, won't need here, as in Nick right here. I'm going to close down some of these different windows here. And uh, you can see that the file opened up with this area that was lost because I did do some editing in Lightroom, uh, correcting for these angles, for the, for, for the uh, vertical lines. I can crop that later, um, but for now I'll go select, select all, and I'm going to move this around a little bit here, and I'm going to go to um, uh, file, what do I want to do here, edit, transform, and then under transform I'm going to come down to skew. And skew is pretty cool because not only can I correct the vertical lines, for the vertical lines, I can also correct for horizontal lines and uh, I'm just going to come over here to the end to the side of the grid and I can drag a ruler across and kind of check to see how straight these lines are. You can see the door was pretty straight. Um, this particular window is not bad actually. Uh, the mailbox is pretty tweaked. Um, well, I think this window looks kind of crooked mainly because of the horizontal lines these lines right here, especially this bottom line here. And you know, it could have been a little that way in real life. But anyway, I've selected it. I want to um, edit, transform, skew. And so things are active right now. And I'm going to drag up in the right, upper right corner. And you can see when I'm dragging up, I'm trying to bring this side up here. I'm going to drag down here a little bit. I'm trying to straighten that out a little bit. This ag, uh, line here has suffered a little bit, I believe. I'm going to put a ruler on that, and I'm going to drag on the upper left corner a little bit, trying to drag that back. And again, this is all kind of a compromise. We're trying to find a way to where we can correct the most obvious things so that the most obvious things are going to be pretty true. And I think that's pretty good. Uh, the window's pretty straight on both sides. This is coming up, but it, let's just assume it was that way in real life. I'm going to drag down a little bit on the lower left to try to bring this line down a little bit. We well, can see it's not too bad. 
uh, it's kind of an optical illusion. I think I'm getting thrown off because of this line here across the top. I think that's what they call the lentil. Is a little whacked out. Not too bad. I think I'm going to call that good. And hit return. It will apply the skewing to the image. I'm going to go Command D to get rid of the lines. I'm also going to go Command whatever this is here colon to get rid of the um, rulers. And now I could either crop this image. Or I could do something that's pretty cool. It's called Content Aware Fill. And I'm going to select that area, that, uh, that kind of checkerboard white area. But I'm going to also drag the selection a little bit into the image. So it's including some of the information here. And I'm going to go to um, Edit, Fill. And I'm going to choose Content Aware Fill with Color Adaption. Adapt adaptation check and I'm going to click OK and we'll see what happens. Command D to get rid of the marching ants and you can see that I didn't have my selection quite right here. I missed out on a little bit here. Um, but you get the idea of what's going on there. It took information from here and filled in there. Not too, not too bad. Uh, I have to clone this out. Let's go back I'm going to go back one step, and uh, actually two steps. I'll go to history. It didn't take me back two steps. And there I am. I'm actually not going to do the content aware fill, although it would work. I'm going to actually do a crop. I'm going to check the um, rectangular marquee. And I want to stay with the same ratio that I was using, which is a 3 to 2 ratio. I'm going to drag down here in the image and bring that up. And I, I want to bring it up to the areas where I want to crop. And I don't want this over in here to be in the image or up in here. So then if I go to the crop tool and bring it in here, it's going to crop right in that area that I selected. Hit return. Now I'm still in a 2 to 3 ratio, which I want to keep. I'm going to check my lines here a little bit. Um, I think just visually that this can be skewed a little bit more. I'd like to see this vertical line here be a little more vertical, so I'm going to drag it so that it, it straightens that out a little more. Again, I'll go select all, edit, transform, skew, and I want to drag over here. Bring that out a little bit. I think that's good. Click return. And D to get rid of that. Get rid of those lines. And I think that looks great. I'm going to go in history. History is really great. I'll go back to the spot where I opened that image from Lightroom. And then um, there. So there you go. That's my tech tip for today using the transform skew function in Photoshop to correct vertical and horizontal lines.